listen to Buffer Buddies, episode forty-nine. We're almost, we're almost a senior. I don't, is that how, how does a senior, how do you become a senior? Anyways, this is the podcast where we watch a movie and we talk over it. It's like a movie night with your friends, but in your ears, on your way to work, in the bathroom, wherever you listen to the podcast. So share it with a friend. Tell a friend about it. It's pretty funny. You could also be on the podcast. Go to BufferBuddies.com for more information. I'm Jared from Up Down Off Die. John Schwarzfelder. I'm Jesse Favalava. I'm Seiji Yami. <laughs> and I'm Rest in Peace 120, Rest in Peace 420, Hot Italian Tasty Fresh Hostilist Pizza, uh, Rest in Buddhist 120. I have many names. <laughs> you need to write these down. Like, you're going to lose them someday. I think you already lost. I think you already forgot a few. I think I did. But, yeah. Scopic. Um... Yeah, like, uh, uh, we have a, so we have a few people. Oh, and we also have Chris in chat and painting all night in like silent chat mode. Um, Chris in chat says, uh, do, do, do. "It's kind of like Mr. Science 3000. It's a little bit mis- like Mr. Science 3000. I actually had the idea before I actually like knew of Mr. Science 3000 myself, but um, it's similar except for ours is improv and live, and theirs is scripted. And I, I personally think it's a little boring, but um, that's just me. Don't at me on that." Um, we're watching Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You can hit play. Cool. So, um, what? We, we, let's just knock this out. What is everyone's snacks? I have red vines. I've got um, some yogurt and like that fancy La Croix water. Oh, I love that stuff. Oh wow, wow, so mm-hmm. fancy. Um, I have toothpaste <laughs> on wow. a cracker. Don't at me. <laughs> yes, on a cracker, a Ritz. Fancy. And I have one. I have cough drops. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I love the uh, the stream of uh, of flaws. Yeah, this they didn't uh, patch that out yet. No. It's that's such a weird thing to like add into like we need to be able to like spam emoticons to people. Oh, it disabled. So, so right now on our <laughs> application that we're using, Rabbit, you can just spam emotes and it just. The screen. They have love, they have and laughter, they have applause, they have bored, cheers, and what? But the cheers is like two glass clinking, but it, it's like a full white emo- emote, and so it looks it like looks two like cups. Yeah, it looks yeah. like two glasses of milk. So <laughs> It does. Well, I mean, they're just really wholesome people, you know? So I don't know what this movie is, and I don't know anything about it, besides I know the guy talks weird. <laughs> How come I don't see people wearing... Okay, so the movie opens up and they're wearing re- crazy bicycles. Oh, Pee Wee Herman just rode by. How come I don't see these helmets nowadays? Are, is it because they don't work? They don't do anything? You, you see them in, like, time attacks. Mm. What is that? Where it's, just, where it's just about, like, getting from point A to point B as fast as possible. Uh, or, like, velodromes. But like I don't see it big, like, um, the Tour de France. No, I mean, you kind of see... Or, the helmets are a little aerodynamic, but not to that extent. How is so he so it's fast? Like a comfort issue. How is he Pee Wee? But what's wrong? Because he's very aerodynamic. His hair. He's got that Pee Wee <laughs> Herman DNA. He's got that yeah. little spoiler on, on his uh, on the front. How come he's not wearing a helmet? Oh, yeah. that's, that's very dangerous. I mean, there's nothing important in there. Come on. On a bike with no shifting. <laughs> but can we talk about uh, how he was on Gotham? Was he, was he really? Yeah, he played a major role in season three. Dang, his career is trying to get back on track. What was his character? He played the father of... Hold on. Hello? Wait, I'm, I'm just going to type it. I don't know. Should I say it? Because it's a spoiler. Oh, I don't know. Um, wait, who said hello? I'm so confused. I I did. I, I returned. I oh, DC'd. You're, you're oh. super loud now. You're even louder than before. Yeah. Is the video full screen for you guys? Yeah, video full screen. Okay, good. Good conversations. Oh, yeah, he's got the best freaking house ever. And this was actually like, I think it was in California. Just some random house they just made for this set. And then uh, like somebody bought it and like reconverted it back and it's it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's so weird, but awesome. Why does he okay, laugh like that? What's wrong with him? 
He's supposed to be like a man child. Oh, really? This is the man child before the modern man child. <laughs> yeah. Before the internet. I don't understand. I don't stand on anything. I don't understand. I don't. I, I don't really feel comfortable watching this buffoon. <laughs> yeah, he's fully dressed now. It's okay. How does he afford this house? And how did they explain how he won that race? Did I look away? I don't understand. He oh, won the he race. He was dreaming. Oh, <laughs> idiot! A dream sequence. What if he's just an NPC? <laughs> yeah. uh, and this is Guys. soundtrack by uh, Danny Elfman, who also wrote the theme music for The Simpsons. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he wrote he wrote the sequence right here. You know, I'm glad I learned that today. This this is a good Thank sequence. You. This is that classic mm -hmm. song. So was this song made for this movie? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good, yeah. I gotta say. Yeah, like Danny Elfman he made like Simpsons, Peter Herman theme, um like the old uh Batman themes, uh the Spider Man movie I think he did. Yeah, he made a lot of stuff. He did all the Tim Burton stuff. All that to set that up for the next day, his stupid Rube Goldberg machine. Looks like it's more work <laughs> yeah. than it takes to just make the damn breakfast. How right. is it? It resets itself too. What the hell is oh, happening? I love, this. I love this part. Mad Dog, no! Why was there fish outside his window? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just oh. weird for the purpose of being weird. It's so extra, no, he though. he was actually it, weird. He was just being himself. Yeah. But, I mean, like, that's so... It, it takes work to be this weird. Like, he's going out of his way. No. That, that's basically his show, him. too. Because he had, um, like, a little kid's show. Yeah, yeah. This is him in his truest form. <laughs> yeah, wait. This him is as a, acting. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, him as a person. Like... I I'm think in real life, he's kind of normal-ish. Kind of normal no, he didn't... I, I don't know if this is stream appropriate, but he got arrested for doing something in a theater, right? Oh yeah, inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. But he was in a theater that was kind of like CD, anyways. So, you know, that stuff happens in there. Don't say anything. Weird. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's all this like kitschy stuff in his in his house. You think he won the lottery? Maybe like, it's just him, movie? like, like, like in his regular life after the show. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's like, just film me in my house, and we'll make it a yeah. movie. They're like, I don't think that's gonna work. No, trust me. They're like, oh crap, this guy was right. This is crazy. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> Look at he was okay being featured? Mr. T didn't like this publicity, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I think Mr. T probably likes any publicity at this point. True. Let's at him. At him mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> we should hey, invite him. <laughs> hey, hey, you think we could get Mr. T on our, our stream? That would be yeah. the best thing. I feel like well. he has nothing better going on. He'd probably be like, thank you. What if we got, like, Tom Green or something? I don't know who that is, so sure. Who's Tom Green? He's, um, he, he was, like, those movies, like, Road Trip. Um, uh, what's that movie? Uh, uh, Freddy Got Fingered, he was in that. Seth Green? Are you thinking of Seth? I know Seth Green. Mm -hmm. I know that Tom guy. Tom Green. Thomas Green. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not. I don't know that guy. He's got a skateboard, you know. Oh, he's well, a skateboard. Know. Oh, hey. Um, I was at VRLA today, and that was cool. So that's the thing. I don't know how much I want to talk about that, but it was really cool. That con okay. So that ex expo was really weird because it was so like it didn't make much sense. It didn't really. It was so crazy. It was good, and it, but it was also crazy because it was like a lot of like, hey, hey, businesses, buy our VR tech. Hey, hey, consumers, we have a game. Hey, VR developers, we have all this tech. So it was like, I don't, like the con, like, or the expo didn't really know, like, it was marketing to everyone all at once. It was like kind of chaotic where, like, you're walking by booths and you're like, that's interesting. That's useless for me. That's very expensive. Like, just kind of crazy. And like, what is that? And like, what is this? But, um, uh, that's conventions in general always. No, I mean, well, specifically, it was just a weird expo. It, it was really it, cool, it but felt really early, yeah. early access. Yeah. Well, if it's like, if it's industry conventions. That's a different thing. But it's an industry convention mixed with like a like a like a non-industry convention. Like that was like was so weird. <laughs> yeah, dancing LEDs aren't like industry. 
right? But, well, it was weird because like I've been to industry conventions and I get it, and I've been to industry conventions that like don't like don't like also sort of target like like a commercial space, but this was like actually effectively a targeting both spaces at once, and it was very weird like that. It was like pretty successfully doing both in a weird way. Um, and I thought that was like chaos and kind of cool and like weird and good and bad and odd and neat. I I bet you ten dollars that in ten years it's going to be all corporatized and not fun like that. <laughs> Maybe because that's where all the money goes. Really, it should it should be all commercial or, or like all like yeah like commercial based, not like consumer. But Pee Wee Herman in VR, you you're in his house. You're him. I want the mm-hmm. Pee Wee Herman VR house experience. I want to make my breakfast in that thing. You want to ride the bike? You could probably build it on like the source engine or something. Yeah, probably. But Harold, I saw Peter. Peter was there. Oh yeah, I told him you'd be there. Yeah, it was cool. We hung out for at his booth for a long time. Talked to him. Oh, he had a booth. Dang. You, well, he didn't have a booth, but he was with like Prosper. Prosper XP. Oh, gotcha. That's pretty cool. Well, Peter sells uh, like robot robot dollies, right? Or that's what he was doing. He, it was like robot. Yeah, it was like robots for that. For cameras, for he, anything really. He consulted on like I don't even know. It's hard to. I don't know where his work oh, began. Yeah, and, yeah. But yeah, it was I, it was those robots. He, um, I was. I like was that company to... contacted. So I think that company contacted him to like do some engineering and design work. Yeah, yeah. For that platform. Yeah. And he designed like a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was showing me. I was like, I was like, it's this and this and this and this. I'm like, that's most of the thing. I was <laughs> yeah. asking Peter if he could make like a a robot that could just bring me like stuff from my kitchen, like like something to drink. And he's like, Yeah, dude, we could totally do that, but we can't bring it out here yet. It'll run into people. Mm-hmm. But like, he said, it could bring it to you within five minutes. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Did you think that you meant that you're like, can you bring me a drink and would go all the way back to your house nonstop and just like go through like and then come all oh the way God. back and just like running over people and like going wow. through traffic? It would revolutionize the transportation industry. I would love the idea, too, if that was like a real thing. And you're like, robot, I'm thirsty. And like five hours later, it's finally back. <laughs> like as they're causing mm-hmm. many traffic accidents. <laughs> yes. Worth it every cost. And then you're like, robot, this is warm. Go get me a cold one. And you give it back and it tries to drive all the way home. <laughs> but why well, couldn't it just bring me something Starbucks? called a cold one? What? You need, what a, you need a set what the cold one is before we do that. Yeah. Yeah. It has to, maybe it has to find something called a cold one. Oh, this part in the movie is so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy is like, he's like a dick though. So it's okay. Oh, dang, that's a good burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I want to write that down. What, fir- what was the first thing he said? Repeat it for the podcast listeners. Like, make me. Like, I don't make monkeys. I just train them. Oh, I get it. I get that. That's- but yeah, there's That's mean. Pee-wee has like a bunch of like sayings in here that I that I actually steal a lot. That Pee-wee, was really mean. Pee Wee has like a lot of toxic toxic masculinity. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that yeah, was also yeah. a good thing though. You you'll be sorry, Pee Wee Herman. That's that was a good clip. <laughs> God where he like his like ego gets really hurt, but um but he, he gets over, you know. He doesn't let it get him down, you know? Whoa, look at that kid! Oh, yeah, what is- oh why god. is it laggy? <laughs> that kid's so cool. Oh my god, he just does this at the park every day? I thought, mm-hmm. that, I thought that was a basket in front of it in the front of his bike. Cause I was like laughing because I thought he was like doing cool tricks, but with like a basket for some reason. And I was like, what's mm-hmm. going on? Pee-wee, no! Look at me, I'm so badass. Does this, Pee-wee, that's dangerous. Is there something special about his bike, though? Like, does it have, like, a motor in the back? Like, what's going on no, in the back of his well, bike? Is it just It just straight? has, like, mythical properties, so it's his bike. Okay. Is there, like, engine, though? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot no. of extra metal and weight for something that doesn't do anything. Maybe it just has, like, a lot of inertia. Maybe, you're right. If he can't get it going. Steel. If he can get it going fast enough, he can do these tricks really well. Oh man! I Dead. love that the frame skipped and he was flying through the air. Like I missed it all. Uh, I wonder if it's streaming from my computer because my connection is kind of crappy. It's I don't know. It's fine. I'm not gonna. Or if it's not, a rabbit, I'm not gonna worry about it. It comes and goes and really. Be streaming, right? 
it comes and goes in like really odd times though. It's, yeah, it's like it's every scene with Pee Wee is fine, but everything without Pee Wee. Is fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. No, that's just the movie. That's how it is. He's like any scene that I'm not in, we should just make it bad. Like, but Pee Wee, won't you think that hurt the overall experience of watching the movie? I don't care if I'm not in it. I don't want them to be enjoying it. <laughs> He's got like the world's longest chain in there. <laughs> And that's not a creepy clown or anything, right? This is so weird. This is such a weird thing. Why does this exist? He's almost like a weird Mr. Bean. No, Mr. Bean was, he was the Mr. Bean before Mr. Bean. Oh, really? Was he prior? Yeah. Oh, Wait, yeah. Is, that, is that a human or a robot? It's, it's a like robot an animatronic. Yeah, okay, okay. I thought it was a human at first. It's, so a, it's a robot with a human soul. <laughs> Cause it's I, mm -hmm. yeah okay so he locked it to the clown okay all bondage style you know nothing weird so about that weird. <laughs> gosh someone's just gonna what if you met someone like that in real life like just chill dude Jeez. stop yelling all the time <laughs> my good friend Pee Wee hi Mario <laughs> I just uh, browsing to the Pee Wee well sort of I want to stock up on some supplies. Gosh, what is this voice he's doing? How is that his character? <laughs> it's like a, a kid lisp or something. It, it's, he's like basically the man child. He's talking like this. Oh, I couldn't imagine the, building the my career from, off of this. Like, that's such an awful like voice. A, like in interviews and stuff. From he sounds normal, but yeah. Oh, the puppet from Goosebumps? I think that's who Gosh, he he's doing like up. jokes to himself. There's yeah. like, <laughs> around. Yeah, if, if someone was doing that in a retail store, you'd feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah. But speaking of uncomfortable, <laughs> Jesse, you want to tell the story from VRLA? I want to tell the part for a bit. All right. <laughs> so there's this guy sitting in front of us. This and Kino, Kino, he... Kino, we are second oh, row. Yeah. Second row. This guy is in first row. Just like just setting up the scene. We are front and center. We are second row. This guy is in front of us. Go ahead. Okay. This guy was clearly expanding his mind. <laughs> so he was. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. <laughs> he was holding a cup of coffee and his phone. And whenever anyone said reality, he like his arms like shot up. And he was like, wait, I would call it spazzing. Was he that was very. Wait, 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 wait. Was it every time they said reality? Was that like the trigger? I felt like that was the trick. Okay, because I, I felt Cause like they were doing, constantly up. Because I felt like he was just doing it randomly, but I would have loved it if he was doing it based on like trigger words, like virtual reality. Yeah, oh! <laughs> like his arms shoot up, like because that would make me so happy if he was doing it like crazy. <laughs> he 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 was a little bit crazy. Um, it became apparent a after a while that his water bottle was. It, I mean, I feel like I know what it, I'm talking about. It had he a was... very brown or yellowish, very, very, very dark, like very, very opaque color to it. Like it was like not a tint. It was a very strong, like brownish color. You yeah. can continue. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, he was inspired or what have you um, to the point where the keynote speakers would be talking and he would try talking to them and interrupt them. And... Uh, <laughs> I guess one guy actually like started to respond to him like you idiot. That's, not, that's the last thing you're supposed to do as a speaker. <laughs> acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, oh man. So uh, oh, and then the sound issues. That was hilarious too. Oh yeah. So but this guy in front of us was just like at one point he stood up and like other 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 uh, expo goers like like pulled him back down into his seat. Um, so there was that, and like this guy was just like, and then one time, so then we had sound issues with one of the demos, which is, guys, come on, live demos are never a good idea. <laughs> um, and they had no audio, and so the guy's like, he was actually trying to do a live chat with somebody in VR, and he was like, hello? Hello, can you hear me? And he was like, hello, <laughs> from the audience. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> with, the, with the VP of Intel's, like, VR community watching this wow. guy just break yeah. down. <laughs> And then he was like, hello. He's like, hello. He's like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I can't remember the guys on, on the stage where he's like, I'm someone. And he's like, and he said something else, like his name or something. He's like, I'm, and I was just like, this is awful and hilarious and just so great. And it was such a stupid, I had no idea. I, can't, I couldn't, I thought I was like, this is, this is a joke, right? He's doing a character and he's just being obnoxious. He's going to post about it because he kept taking selfies too. He took a bunch oh, yeah. of selfies like the all the time. Thought. 
<laughs> yeah, and then I was like, I just swore. Oh, 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 a great quote he, is coming he up. He was okay. Hold on. What is the great quote? Are you missing it? I uh, guys just missed it. Oh, dang it. What was it? So long? So long, Doc. Here, here, let me look it up real quick for you. <laughs> okay, well... Um, he was time. eccentric enough to where you thought he could have worked there as someone a part of it because he's in the front row right in the middle I, I thought maybe he was like a youtuber and he was like I go and be this obnoxious like character and but I don't like after we left Oh, yeah, then it ended and we all left and he was just standing there staring at his seat. Oh, it was very quote. It was fine creepy Um interesting having people on stage describing what they're hearing in a VR experience um, it's kind of like this podcast least... where we describe what we're looking mm -hmm. at in a movie. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these things in front of us on the screen, guys. <laughs> there you go, Jerry. That's the that's one of the best quotes in the movie right there. Dottie? Dottie? Oh, oh you pasted it. Uh, I'm, I'm going <laughs> so to reenact this. Well, there's, there's a lot I'll be of... I'll Dottie. There's a lot of things about me you don't know. Hold on, let me start over. It's like, there's a lot of things about me you don't know anything about, Dottie. Things you wouldn't understand. Things you couldn't understand. Things you shouldn't understand. I don't understand. You wouldn't want... You wouldn't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. So long, Dottie. Why is that such a good quote? Cause it's just weird, like he's all like a tough guy and stuff, oh. but he's not. I guess so. He's I trying guess. to be all like, um, <laughs> like dark and broody, you know? And then everyone with the bike. Literally this everyone in the world with the bike. George R. R. Martin in this You could remake this with a smartphone as the bike. <laughs> the music this is, is really weird. what makes it though. It's a weird movie. This is so like bizarre. Like, Who is this made? Yeah, exactly. That was, I was gonna say that. I was like, what is, why does this movie exist? Who's it for? Like, what's really the plot line? Is it like, is this movie about him getting his bike back? Kinda, sorta. It like it goes all over the place. Cause I'm like, I'm not like, I'm not following the story. Like right now, it's setting, line. it's setting the plot right now. Yeah. And then from this on, from here on, it'll like just get all weird with the story. Okay, this oh part's actually it just <laughs> sets the foundation for why he's <laughs> doing gold. stuff. This part is pretty funny. This is pretty good. <laughs> like, so like, bar he's sitting there sad and bikes keep driving by and there's like seven people on a bike and that was pretty great. And then like kid chasing like a remote control bike. <laughs> Imagine great. you lost your phone and then someone walks by you with like a flip phone. Yeah. And just like talk, like, <laughs> it could totally work. That was a crazy fancy bike, though. To be honest, I've never seen a bike like that with like all that extra oh, stuff on it. It's yeah. like, it, it, I would imagine that it's pretty expensive. Oh, Dimples is swim. here now. Dimples. Oh, she's here. Giggity dimples. My bike means everything to me. My bike means everything to me. I knew the police wouldn't help. Nailing it. I'm nailing it. Such a nice police. See, in real life, they'd be like, we can't help you. Get out of here, kid. Yeah. How old, how old is he in this movie? 47. Yeah, he's not young. Really? He looks fairly young. You know who he looks like, though? He looks like young Reese from Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I was going to say, like, 27, but he's, like, 40. Wait, let me oh, see how yeah. old he was during the movie. Yeah, I want actually. to know how he's during the movie. Busy doing what? Busy doing what? I'm, I'm going to practice. And this podcast is going to be me practicing my impression of him. <laughs> That's a good quote. What was it? Where are they hosing him down? <laughs> Okay, he was 33 years old during the filming. Okay, I wasn't too far off. I was That's six not years. Too bad. Wait, is this guy also a man child? Yeah, he's the mailman. Oh, he's a mailman. Right, was he at the beginning? No, he was just wearing like some mailman-looking shirt. Okay. So is he also rich? I'm so confused by yeah. this. What? How are they? How are no. they both like independently wealthy? So this guy, he's like the rich kid, and his father, who's like super old. Like, he owns everything. They're old money. Mm-hmm. 
This is the one percent. So menacing. Oh dang, that's violent. <laughs> is that a pool or like a big bathtub? Because it's like oh. it's it's yeah. I was gonna say it's too small to be like a pool, but it's too big to be a bathtub. It's like something Mr. Burns would have. It, yeah, it's such a oh look, it has a gigantic you know bathtub. What? Is that really? His dad is such a nice guy. Look at his, you know. How is he not dripping wet? He just got a. He just. <laughs> he's wearing a suit. He looks relatively dry. Okay. Okay. What I'm, if it's like a wool suit? Oh yeah, and these pants don't leave much imagination for the guy. A hundred percent polyester. <laughs> yeah, I want a suit made out of like water wicking material, and then you just get you like walk in water, and then you get out. Scotch guard my entire suit, please. Mm -hmm. and I could just like walk into water and walk out, and you're like, he's like the Terminator. Look at him; he's perfectly dry still. <laughs> You slip and slide. He's sliding like like a like a dolphin or something. Oh no, the chef guy. Why was the chef opening answering the door? I think that's like their butler. He well, he's wearing chef clothes though. <laughs> Look at his dad's outfit. So old money. Why is his dad, who's rich, like wearing, a, a, wearing a jumpsuit? I think it's called like a lounge suit, actually, because he's Jeez. lounging in it. it looks I thought he was a mechanic. Yeah, it looks it looks like a mechanic. <laughs> I believe he's got an, got an ascot. Yeah, this, this is a grown man pretending to be a man child. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! I like how his makeup is like perfect. On on Pee Wee. Leak? Is that the, is that? Well, that terminology yeah, didn't exist back then. What did they have back then? Probably like some I, bad makeup for you, like we're like pancake style makeup, <laughs> where it's like caked on and everything. What's Dude, a very nineties thing to say? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of something. I can't think of anything. Oh no, it's trick gum. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it's radical. How about that? Experiment or fruit? Wouldn't that gum be all ruined from him jumping in the water? Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, this kid is like the worst. God, what? <laughs> what do you give him? Like you chew it and like it just makes your mouth all black. No, no. Like how come the dad's no, mouth then it could turn black? Yeah. It was spicy, probably. Like, I think uh, he didn't chew it enough. It was like nah, pink gum. No. <laughs> oh yeah, I think because oh, he took a different flavor. That's right. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Dottie was like. Like, if someone finds it, how are you going to pay them this? He's like, well, if they find it, they're the thief. Old money. Well, that's not how that works. <laughs> but also, yeah. I, th I thought it was being serious, because I was like, $10,000, you just buy another bike. You clearly, yeah. Don't, like, whatever. But it's like a special mythical bike. The principal. Yeah, true. The principal is worth something. Look at this old money house. And this, like, greaser-looking, like, guy. When was this movie? Admit the tusk. When was this movie made? 85. Okay. That explains why I don't understand anything. I wasn't alive. Mm -hmm. Well, at least the the camera work is like really high quality. It yeah, I mean, look old. Yeah, what's crazy is like yeah, it like this. Sharp. Yeah, it looks like a pretty decent like movie. Like it's like whatever. However, they like wherever this is. However, this got on Netflix, they did a good job of like remastering or exporting or whatever. This is, how, this is how the movie looks regularly. Wow, it's good. Yeah. Wait, so sixteen think, by nine. Wait. Yeah, basically they just like filmed it like cinematically. Like they film like a Spielberg film, but it's a PB film. Like they use like the good film and all that kind of stuff and good cameras. Wow, tell tell that to Spielberg how their <laughs> similarities. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like some old movies from the eighties, like they just they look like they're shot on like a VHS tape or something. You know, it just doesn't look good. Whereas this, they didn't, you know, um, they didn't. Uh, they use whatever like they used everything they had. At the disposal. Mm -hmm. Or I millions like of other people like him, said Chiyami. He's the average man. But I think it's, it's creepy how it has like the rosy cheeks and stuff. and like, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know. I feel uncomfortable watching this. Because this man that's, is that's, like, that's he's almost like trying to be like a, like a, uh, like a 13 year old boy. And it's like a weird, <laughs> like, why is this grown man trying to pretend he's in middle school? That I love this... how these kids are like just wearing their, their, uh, biking outfits just all the time. Yeah. Like their BMX suits. 
How did he get all these people together? Before like Instagram and Facebook and everything, right? Well, I mean, like, why would like come over to my house? No. <laughs> what well, I mean, we back then? They're probably bored and had nothing else to do. <laughs> we don't have the internet, so I don't yeah. want like whatever. Like come nine o'clock, what are you, what are you gonna do? Like watch TV? Yeah, I guess so you gotta fill the time with something. Yeah, I just saw such. A, I just saw your comment. How does this guy command that big of an audience? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. A long time we wait. Three hours now. Oh no! Let's get the little dog. Come on. Do we have a horror movie where like Pee Wee goes on a ramp, like killing ramp? Dude, that would be Maybe so just... crazy. Like the alternate you version of this. Cut this. Yeah, you probably crowd, cut crowd it. Crowd it. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll, like recut the, like the trailer to be like a thriller. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could do that. That'd be easy. I bet it exists. Let me Google that for you guys. <laughs> He's having his mental breakdown right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a one uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure recut trailer horror. <laughs> so we'll have to watch that at the end of this movie. I like how uh, this is an allegory of uh, of Jared and Tiffany right now. <laughs> <laughs> like Tiffany's like the level-headed, uh, rational one, and then Jared's all like, you know. No way! It's totally the other <laughs> way around. <laughs> I'm the one that uses logic. <laughs> you could probably cut your hair like his too. You probably could though. Maybe that's my next cosplay. <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> totally. I already got the voice down. But then you gotta shave. That's true. I, I don't think I don't think I could look that boyish. Even if I <laughs> shave, I'm not gonna look that young. Even if you're uh, John Boyega, you can look that boyish. Does John Boyega look very young? Well, he does for now. Oh. <laughs> no one ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, this, this is a horror movie. Totally. <laughs> He like hissed at them and he ran away. <laughs> oh man, pretty menacing. I, it's so cliche. Look, look, how, look how thin he is. Yeah, at first when he was like shown in Gotham, I did not have any idea who he you, was. You posted that picture in chat. I do, I still doesn't look like him. It's so weird. Well, he's much I know. older. And he doesn't have the voice in Gotham. Yeah. I'm like, oh my that, god. Like, the whole scandal and stuff, it probably like aged him because all the stress and stuff. Because he, he didn't work yeah. like at all for like 10 years straight. That's pretty cheap. Like, who would take the lesser options? Like, come on. Yeah. That was smart, what he said, though. Tell me why I'm here first. Like, let me know you're not bull, like, bull, you know? Yeah, I always exactly. want to, like, go to, like, a cold reader, and then they'll be like, uh, did someone die from heart failure? I'd be like, you tell me. And I was just like, I would just not give them any information. <laughs> Look at this. They just, like, flip the, the crystal ball yeah. out of the light. <laughs> this is very realistic, actually. I see a name, it starts with J, like, like John? Yeah, yes, John. He says, don't worry about the money. I didn't, I didn't know John, you know, I just said, yeah, just to trick you. You should have known <laughs> that as a, as yeah. a, as a psychic. <laughs> Everyone knows John. I always wanted to go on that show, like, uh, it was like that, it was like that one reality show. With John with Edwards guy. guy? Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to be like, yeah, 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 I know that guy. And he'd be like, uh, did he say this? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, and I'll just say yes to everything at the end. I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I've been lying the whole time. They made fun of that really bad on, um, I mean, really good on South Park. Yeah, it was really funny. It was pretty funny. Was wow, good, like, like Kyle or something was like trying to show them like, yeah, it's so easy. It's cold you. reading. And then, it's, you're a psychic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you draw Texas so bad? No, I, what? That's is pretty it bad, good, actually. No, look at, there's a big chunk missing out of it. I'm pretty sure Texas doesn't have that. It's supposed to be like that. I'm pretty sure it's not. 
<laughs> Look at his prosthetic thumb. <laughs> thumb. <laughs> this is so weird. I hate it. How old is this? Uh, oh, never mind. We have 85. 85? You know, it was right after, uh... What happened in 1984? What happened in 1984? Yeah, like, what historical event caused a man to break and make this movie? That's what I want to know. <laughs> but I just, yeah, I think oh. he's like, they're writing the script, they're like, how about this movie where it's all weird? It's I feel like, like this movie, they, it was made by accident, because they try to make uh, another movie. Called like like Pee Wee Herman's Big Top Adventure or something like that. Oh, yeah, and it was just not that good. They were just trying to strike gold again, but they just didn't. Name's Mickey. I'm Pee Wee. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> but which one am I talking about? Because they both look like serial killers in this case. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you called it. <laughs> Pretty nice scenery. <laughs> This is a good scene. Is... <laughs> oh yeah, this is pretty good, actually. I love how it's like, how it's silent and weird. I stole a bike. He looks kind of like The Rock. Like... Dwayne Wayne Johnson? The Rock? Yeah. But like an old virgin without hair. And not like, whatever race mean, The Rock is. I mean, with hair. This is real, well, like, but like balding. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's pictures of the, of the Rock young, and he has like Jerry curls and everything. It looks oh, really yeah. bad. Either way, this guy's like a white version, old white version of the Rock. I think it looks exactly <laughs> like him. Look, he's driving. Does he not know how to drive? Probably not. In, in, in the Pee Wee Herman lore, he doesn't know how to drive. He's not actually a kid, though. He just acts like a kid. <laughs> or is he supposed to be a kid in the show? Like, is he playing a 13-year-old? It's weird. That would change a lot. <laughs> Look, you moron, there's your bike right my there. Bike! Oh, my gosh. Did he ask the guy where to take him? Is he just taking him somewhere? I, oh, no, he had a sign for Texas. Oh, right, right, right. I remember that now. I remember that being a thing. I am, Ugh, that voice. I am now watching science videos on YouTube, but without audio, and it's not. A, <laughs> you can't really do that because they just keep doing things, and I'm like, but why? But why do you keep doing that? So it doesn't really help. Oh, it looks like uh, uh, rest in peace. Found something about Peter Herman. <laughs> there, he has his own wiki page on mm -hmm. the Heroes Wiki. The heroes? I don't understand. What do you mean, heroes wiki? Like, superhero. There's a wiki for superheroes. That's hilarious. Is it because of him being on, on... I don't understand. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. This is weird. Because <laughs> it's like, it's like, it starts at 1980 to 92, the Pee Wee Herman show. This is on heroes.wikia.com. Wiki, heroes wiki. Heroes wiki. Wait, he's a hero? Uh, I guess so. Uh, for those on the podcast, Pee Wee Herman's cross-dressing right now to evade the law. Oh, I'm missing this. Yeah. He looks very feminine, which is kind of weird. He's like Mr. Bean. Yeah, we, we said yeah. that earlier. <laughs> and like, I, where do they get these things, though? They were like in a convertible. Well, the office, the convicts stole the convertible, probably. But they just had this, like, just lying around? Huh. Inspiration for the name came from a harmonica brand. That's interesting. He's still in his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. His movie has weird pacing. It's very quiet. There's a lot they, of quiet parts. It gets, it gets a little better. Where did the movie start? When did it start? Uh, in, in his house. Where did, like, where oh. is that located? Well, What's te it? technically, in LA? Well, technically, it started in his dream when he was racing and he won a race. Oh, in and France. Then, it, then he woke up, yeah. He started in France. 
Well, so, actually, I don't know where where his house is because basically, like in, the, in real life, his house is in, is in L.A. Um, but in the, in the movie, I don't know where. And then eventually, at the end, they get to like California. So I don't know where they are. Oh yeah, these signs. So he's driving the car now, and all these road signs are like super twisty, and then it gets like really convoluted and like just like um, falling rocks. Yeah, and like just, rocks are falling, and it, it's just really really funny. Imminent danger. They're airborne. They're off a cliff. Oh, they're like teetering. The right, cliche so in the movie. Oh, they're falling. They've been falling for like 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> That's pretty That's funny. It. Oh my god. <laughs> so the, convertible, the convertible popped open right now and it is parachuting down. The entire convertibles it, it's a rag top <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i was like it's like that's not how convertibles work why does it look like a oh, parachute yeah. <laughs> that's creepy that's so creepy i can't drag you into this is what he said that's a pun i'm pretty sure that was a pun yeah that was a decent pun oh look he he stole his line he's like i'm a loner i'm a rebel I am currently watching a muted version of of um, Good Mythical Morning, and they put Mountain Dew through a water filter, and they're drinking it. And I don't know what's I don't know what the like, reaction why? is. I want to, I want to know so badly because it, it comes out clear on the other side, but I don't know Wait, why is what it's animated now. The, oh, <laughs> what's happening on this movie? I'm confused. Like eyes. I'm confused about two things now. I want to know what the reactions are to this, this well, Mountain Dew. They did it because they couldn't uh, film this. Uh, they had to draw it. And it probably would have been funnier. Is it like, yeah, is it like, is it supposed to be intentionally that it's a, it's like animated? Like, is it a joke? Or is it like so. because they can't get the, the joke would never work in real life? <laughs> well, also back then, like, I don't know, I think film couldn't uh, shoot the slow light anyways. Well, you would never get just eyes floating around. That's not That's possible. That's true, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and there's the joke. <laughs> oh yeah, because remember he he bought those headlight flash uh, headlight glasses. Dude, oh my gosh, he just yeah. has he he's Batman, right? He has a contraption Wait, for everything. The, the <laughs> yeah. Back. Do it, do it. Flatten oh, him like a pancake. He's, he's, it's like hitchhiking. Flatten him like a pancake. The crazy part is he has a Hollywood star, a uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's kind of cool. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. Does he <laughs> like didn't it, like someone just get theirs, like Leo or something? Like they just got theirs. Carrie Fisher, I believe. Mm, yeah, Carrie About Fisher. Oh, yeah, wasn't it also Luke Skywalker? Did he just? Hamill? Yeah, did Mark Hamill just get Mark his? Mark Hamill had one. I don't like, know about that. He should have had one forever. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, he was like, doing other stuff. Okay. Wars. Well, either way, like it's crazy that there's like people that got him after this. Renya says in sync. In sync just got there. Oh, Star Gary, you're gonna miss Star this part. It's very okay. iconic, actually. Okay, let me get this. So the terminus truck. <laughs> Burn. That hairdo, though. Yeah. Josh. Why? What? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't want mm -hmm. that. I don't want this movie anymore. Could you imagine having the whole, the whole movie be a claymation like that? <laughs> no. Like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> oh my god. I love that cartoon. Imagine uh, taking your kid to see this movie, thinking it was a kid's movie. <laughs> and that evil laugh. I like how he's not phased by anything at all right now. Yeah, he's just like, drop me off, please. Oh, is he in Palm Springs? Yeah, so, yeah this place actually exists, and it's pretty yeah. amazing. I used to go there all the time as a kid. 
like just the, like those colors it's, are so I amazing. Think, I, don't I don't think those. That, I don't think the dinosaurs. dinosaurs. I don't think the dinosaurs are open anymore. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure about that either. That hobo sack says Chris. Well, you know what they call that? A it's bindle. Called a bindle. A bindle. I don't know why it's called that, what but is? someone looked so that up. Having history of the bindle. <laughs> Like when you have uh, a handkerchief on the end of a stick, it's called a bindle. But why? Like, like uh, maybe it's like a bundle, but it became bindle. Yeah. She just dropped me off. Oh, Large? it's uh, colloquially known as the blanket stick. Jeez. Really? I haven't heard that. But it doesn't. Let me see this here. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's Dutch for bundle. But I guess in Dutch, it's bindle. I guess, that, well, that kind of explains it, maybe. Whoa. Spooky. Worst accident I ever seen. But that means the large marge I was riding was, was... They're all in unison. What is going on? I'm so tired, and this movie is like just like I can't even like make jokes because I can't comprehend like <laughs> the things. It's like a road trip movie, basically. Is it now? I thought it was a bi movie about his bike. <laughs> I thought it was like, going on. It's, it's, it's searching for his bike the whole time. I don't like that. I want him to ride the bike. Oh like, no! Oh, oh. Uh, the, the I wonder if people would reader. like what would people do in real life if this happened. I feel like you can make a deal with like a place and be like, I'm gonna go get my wallet. You could have you could have my my driver's license as collateral. But then how would you have your driver's license if it's not in your wallet? Oh shoot! I don't know. That's a good point. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. Say, like, I wouldn't know. What you to can't do. say I'll come back tomorrow because nobody would come back tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would, but yeah, you're right. Like, why would they trust I mean, you I with would, that? Yeah, why would they trust you? Like, you have no reason to make them trust you. Well, what if you're like, well, here, keep this watch. If I don't come back, you can keep it. Yeah, I guess you're trying to figure like out that. some way to, like, yeah, get them collateral to make them. I'm going to watch. It's worth, I mean, it can't be worth less than a meal, you know? Well, my, watch watch. Is, my watch is definitely worth $100 <laughs> at least. Like a Timex or something? Uh, it's a smartwatch. Oh. I like how he's still wearing the hairnet. I think he just took it off like two seconds ago. Oh, and he took <laughs> off the apron. Okay. Oh, this lady trying to trying to hit on Pee Wee. But he's like a kid though. Like, well, that's what I was saying. Is he a kid and he's an actor playing a kid, or is he an adult man who acts like a child, who just acts like it? That's mm -hmm. my question. No, he's a peewee. He's her man, but he's a peewee her man. <laughs> no. So he's he's like a man, but he's like a not a man. I want to read up on this on this uh. It's like gender neutral or something. No, right now he's her man, but he's a peewee. Yeah, her I man. feel like he'd also be asexual. That sounds too close, to like her Uh, pee. Uh, her man. Oh, like, this got real. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? His actual dreams are so messed up. Yeah, you guys will have the best dreams tonight. So I, I tried Google searching, is Pee Wee Herman a boy or a man? And the first result is Pee Wee Herman's Big Holly uh, finally answers the question, <laughs> is Pee Wee Herman gay? And then the, mm -hmm. the first sentence on the answer, I love questions about the secret sexuality of fictional characters, which makes me laugh as well, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter if someone who doesn't exist. Um, that's so funny. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so here's a question for you, Jared. Uh, is would there be anything that if someone stole you'd go on this big adventure like him? I don't know. Maybe probably. Yeah I, I mean, I wouldn't go on an adventure. I would like use legal force and get like my car back yeah, But like but let's say you're like independently wealthy like Pee Wee for some reason and you guys do this on, on a whim 
but, they, but he's not wealthy anymore. He lost his wallet. <laughs> yeah, all, what, what if all his money was in there? I don't know. Talk about your big butt. He doesn't even have an identity or anything. He's a drifter. <laughs> he's homeless. Well, he still has a home. He's just not in it right now. Yeah. I like how he's all like deep and spiritual, but he's like, I don't know. Oh man, at the end of this blog post, it's like, in all such comic campy presentations, there's multiple interpretations, positions for views, Pee Wee Herman's Big Holiday. Maybe they're gay, maybe they're BFFs, maybe in the film it's first lovers, and who cares what gender they are? Maybe it's a queer fan service, or maybe it's being childlike. Childlike narrative and all the sexual orientations of Pee Wee's just challenging our childhood absurdities and excess in sympathetic utopian fashion. Nah, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read any of that, but I just like that blog post was opened and closed pretty funny. Uh, I want to know though, is he an old man or is he a boy? Is he a he's man a playing a boy? He's a man. <laughs> Look, it's Wreck It Ralph. Well, it is cra it is Palm Springs or whatever. It it's crazy. I don't know mm -hmm. if those are still there. I know I'm pretty sure they're closed. I'm not sure if they're there though. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't think they're there. Uh, that's too bad. That's th that that Stegosaurus. That whatever that is, I forget dinosaur names. I'm not seven. It was a it was a it was a toy shop. There are dinosaurs still there on the drive, but I'm not yeah. sure those are the same ones. They're like metal. The let. I'm thinking of like a really like higher up on a hill, not accessible like that, but like a metal cutout. Oh yeah, it might not be the same one. He's really hoboing up now. Hobo. I got a train and everything. Uh, are doing one or two movies tonight? We're definitely doing one movie tonight. I'm pretty damn tired. I've been up since like five or six a.m. Yeah, my uh, movie marathon ended at, at like six a.m. today. Jeez. I had like a little nap and you know, I'm Whoa, okay now. Oh, but... this is a weird claymation of this dinosaur. I love how Pee Wee's just up... <laughs> like in the claymation the shots, yeah. he's not even moving. <laughs> yeah, this is on Netflix. Yeah, we're, we're watching this on Netflix. Are you gonna watch no. it with your, your girlfriend? You're like, I just saw this movie, you have to watch it. Oh no, no way. I want to clip well, some of the parts of the movies because well, they're good for me. Well, let's hear what you say at the end, because the end is like amazing. Well, thank you. <laughs> Sardines. They're imported, technically. <laughs> but, um. Mm. <laughs> well, I like how Pee Wee he doesn't like judge people. He like he's just hanging out with some hobo guy. Like he's yeah. If it were if it were me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go now. You know, I would throw but myself Pee -wee, from the yeah. train. But Pee Wee, he's just having a good time. <laughs> what are these songs? <laughs> They're like just old timey folk songs. He just like rammed two songs together. I don't think those belong together. <laughs> this guy's acting a little bit like the guy from VRLA that was in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I guess even Pee Wee has a breaking point. Yeah, I'm surprised he like out Pee Wee Herman, out Pee Wee, Pee -wee Herman. <laughs> yeah. He's probably like, can you stop yelling all the time? Oh no, this is what it must feel like. Would you guys so tell like me how if I was Pee Wee Herming you? Well, you would what? Would you tell me if I was yelling at you all the time? Oh, and you were like, ah, yeah. yeah, I think you would know. <laughs> okay. Wrecked. Oh yeah, this lady's like so dumb. Uh, my, uh, she's cringy. Uh, 
I wonder if that lady is just like dead inside or something. I'm just doing this tour, and this is just like a facade. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Customer service does that to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw Adobe. And they're like subscription model. <laughs> just uh, get a fake EDU address and get five dollars a month forever. But then that's e still five dollars a month forever. It's only five dollars a month forever. Well, I mean, it's like two hundred dollars a year. I want. I wait. I I want this no, wait, movie. That math is wrong. <laughs> I want this movie to end. How much longer do we have? We're halfway. Oh, my God. I, Did you see what I posted in chat? Oh, um, <laughs> do you want me to read it? It's up to you. Let me read it. Let me read it personally. Before, uh, Five times 12 is 60. Yeah, I, my, my math was wrong. So I like how like everyone who works at the Alamo gets this question every day now because of this movie. <laughs> I want to do that before I die now. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> I missed it. I was reading. Like, where's the Where's the basement? Well, I don't get it. Because this like earlier. It's like reader? a stone building. Oh, I see. I guess. I, I'm that, like, uh, I'm so out of it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't wait. What is that thing you posted? I'm so confused by that. Is there like back lore or something? During June yeah. 1984 yeah. segment on Late Night with David Letterman, Pee Wee said his, he had a sister named Hermione who was a Girl Scout. His mother's no, name Hermione? is Hermione. Herm, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to go with Hermione. Um, cause I can read that. Um, his mother's name was Honey Herman and his father's name was Herman Herman. He went on to, to say that everyone in his family had a first name that began with H except for him. This again was stated during a 1988 special, which elaborated that P.B. Herman was raised in Florida. Like, what is that? I can see that. Why does that information exist? Is that a lie? Is he lying? Is he telling the truth? Do I, oh, do, am I supposed to care about that? Like, is that supposed to be I mean, like... I don't understand. Like, why did why was why does that like who wrote that down? It's like a sentence without a purpose. <laughs> I don't understand it. He apparently is also a farmer. What in IRL? Pee -wee? Yes, because in Big Top Pee Wee, the I guess that's another movie or show that he was in. Oh, it's a movie. He was depicted as a um, farmer. Oh yeah, like I feel like Big Top Pee Wee is like out of canon or something. It's just so weird. But is yeah, that, that movie just was just not good? <laughs> it was so cringy, like bad cringe. And not like cringy, but not, that's a little too much. But you want to know something that's really funny? The guy who plays Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens, mm -hmm. didn't get a a star of a, a Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame. Pee Wee Herman, the character, did. Oh, that's sad. Wait, what? Pee Wee Herman, the character yep. got... The character got star. Is that happening very often? I feel like that's not... No, I think Pee Wee Herman, Mickey like Mouse, and Minnie Mouse now? are the only three that aren't actually people. So why... So why... <laughs> so <laughs> why... <laughs> why did that happen? <laughs> so... This movie has some really funny jokes in it. They're just very sprinkled, very far apart, which makes it very annoying. It's almost more aggravating that they're like, and hey, that was funny. Now wait 20 oh minutes. Oh my god, that was hilarious. The, the end half, I think, is better. It gets like more fast paced. And okay. Just crazy. Um. So wait, why why would why would the character get a star and not him? Like well, that seems a really odd. It's almost insulting. I it's I, someone like it's, Paul everyone, everyone knows Pete Herman, Herman, but nobody knows Paul Rubens. But that's weird. It seems mean. Well, maybe, like, maybe I feel he like is the character. If Mr. Bean ever got a star on the Walk of Fame, it would be Mr. Bean, not yeah. Um, whatever. Rowan Atkinson. That's yeah, weird. Thank you. 
I feel like when the character is that, like, just iconic and just, uh, I guess special, it's, it's different. Because there's no other Pee Wee Hermans out there besides him. Or like a copycat Pee Wee Herman type character or anything else like that. It's just Pee Wee Herman, and that's it. That's insane. Like, I feel like Pee Wee Herman isn't like an archetypal kind of character. Wait, he did stand up? He did? <laughs> link link the Pee Wee Herman stand up in the rabbit. <laughs> oh, so, I, I, the other day I saw like a uh, Louis C.K. stand up when he, like in the 80s, and it was horrible. Just so bad. How bad? Like bad cringe. Not good cringe. Like just like dumb like kid jokes and like dad joke kind of stuff. <laughs> and he had like really like weird awkward body language. Oh, Wreck-It Ralph! <laughs> this guy's a giant. I like how it was the same exact scream, just like, like dubbed over. <laughs> it was like, Aah. oh, I wish people could hear this, but that's not. Clear. Whoa! Well, what was the podcast, that? I can kind of hear it. There's some there. There's some audio. It's pretty low though. It's a good song though. I mean, just go. It's a Peter Herman song. It's great. Is it single the mile? It's single the mile that we're on the day we're recording this. Oh, oh wow, wow, that's yeah, crazy. That's yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's high noon. What kind of shoes are those? That's like a Pee Wee Herman God, shoe. Where do you find this outfit? Like, why is that in someone's like, trailer? Why is that like, like why back they in the future? Own that. It's like back in the future when uh, Marty wears like that like uh, cowboy outfit, but it's like a TV cowboy outfit. Yeah. Well, they're all staring at him, but someone owned that. Someone owned this cowboy <laughs> outfit. Like a clown? Maybe. Uh oh. I would just fall off immediately. I would just like as the gate's opening, I would just slide off the back and be like, I'm done. Now, couldn't they just like t strap you on super tight so no matter how hard it bucks, it, you wouldn't fall off? You'd probably die though. It'd probably like break your spine somehow. Maybe. Well, I have seen like where they'll like go on their back and like roll around and that would kill you probably. Yeah, that probably would. That would. That would. If you're strapped in. Yeah, if you're not gonna fly off. Okay, I've seen like if a horse falls on you, it'll like break your leg. What if I fall on a horse? <laughs> You'd be like, what is this? Oh. Dang, that thing could jump. That stand up is so cringy. It. <laughs> the Alamo. He's at the Alamo? Well, no, he's not at the Alamo anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. There was no basement in the Alamo, and everyone laughed at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at these stereotypical, stereotypical uh, bikers with like their eye patches and stuff. I've used that before. <laughs> Is everyone gonna like cheer for him now? Cause this movie's weird and people cheer for him. Oh. Did anybody tell you that this is the private club of the Satan's helpers? Nobody hit me to that, dude. It's all Satan's <laughs> little helpers? <laughs> What's wrong with this man? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Maybe they feel bad, like, because he's so weird, they probably don't want to beat him up. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, this guy is something wrong with him. I'll be nice to him. <laughs> well, now they want to beat him up. Because he just knocked down all their bikes. He got this from American Dad. They do that bit where the bikes fall down. <laughs> well, I think American Dad got it from him, right? No, they got it from American Dad. Like, he went in the future and, and you know, yeah. stole it. Yeah, I think that everyone stole a lot of jokes from American Dad. That's like, I, I heard... I forget where we're at. some guy was like, like that song was really good, but like, um, wait, what was that? Um, what was that song? Uh, I forget now. Oh, the David Bowie song, um, the man who sold the world is like that's a really good song, but like he stole it from uh, what's his name? Uh, I totally ruined this bit now. Yep, that's all right. Uh, if he, Oh, yeah, the Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain? Well, because Kurt Cobain, he covered that song, The Man Who, who oh. Sold the World. I, yeah. I like people think he wrote it, but what a David role. Bowie wrote it. That's funny. <laughs> That's great. Oh, what the heck? Oh, my God. Ugh, these shoes. Like, who would have these shoes? Just... You know, because he borrowed them from some guy. Wait, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? I think he's trying to like lighten the mood. I changed weird. my mind about. I changed my mind about him. He's cool now. <laughs> hey, Jared, would you wear those shoes? No, they look uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> he has weird like, like if someone... heel platformer white. Shoes. They're like the weirdest things I've ever seen. This would be like an easy costume to cosplay. Dang, look at that. He's like tippy toeing on like some stiletto boots. And these like tough bikers are just getting into it. And this is now known as the Pee Wee Dance, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like, he performed this in, like, I think every single one of his shows and movies. So what's funny is, like, now they're all, like, buddy buddies and they love him just because of that dance. <laughs> I, 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 I wish, yeah, I love that you could like dance your way out of stuff. Like, dance. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're best friends. You only hurt, like, you only damage, like, you only cause thousands of damage of, uh, to our bikes, bicycles. Our, our yeah, motor, no big mo deal. Motor bicycles. I wonder if that would hurt, like, smashing through a sign. I mean, you might get cut. Jerry's like, oh great, it's over now. He's dead. Please, I'm. I it hit me so hard. I want to go to sleep <laughs> so bad. Hit you harder than he hit that. Yeah, sign. It, it pretty much. I was sitting here. I was just like, <sighs> trying so hard to like conversation must podcast. All this dream sequence. This is a good dream oh, sequence. Yeah, these are the best. The movie has a lot of dream the music, sequences. The music is what makes it. Just Danny Elfman. He's just so amazing. Do you guys know uh, Danny Elfman is related to uh, Jenna Elfman from that show, Drama and Greg? What's a that's like? What's a Danny Elfman? Danny Elfman, he uh, is like a movie composer, and also he was in a band called Ongo Boingo. He did all the music, or he composed the music for Elf. He did like pretty yeah. much. He did like all the '90s Tim Burton movie music. Yeah, so like like Nightmare on um, on whatever Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. He made that music and like a bunch of other like Tim Burton stuff, like Beetlejuice. He made that music, uh, like a bunch of stuff. But yeah, he's related to uh, Jen Elfman, but like they don't really get along that well. It just got all like demonic and stuff. 
It's like a dream sequence. Wait, where is, yeah, is where's Pee Wee Herman though? in this? That's not him. Oh, it's Francis. Yeah. Oh, he's melting his bike. I'm imagining this is that's Blizzard, and then the bike is my class in WoW over the years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just getting so you here like a Tauren warrior. It was an elemental shaman. Oh. Forget the actor, but he always plays like asshole characters. Wow, that's the old theme. Oh yeah, so this is, this actually is Warner Brothers Studio. Yep. Oh yeah, Janelle Elfman is like a really big Scientologist, and he doesn't get along with her at all. Oh no, I'm sorry, you can't enter without a pass. Sir. Hmm. <laughs> I forget who is that guy. He, I think he's famous. That old guy. So, oh, so he just did some social engineering. Just like look like you belong. Nobody will ever say anything. Pretty much. What is that? Oh, look, it's, it's, it's Iron Man. <laughs> Why is that? I think, that was I, a weird. Yeah. That was that was <laughs> such a weird joke. Did someone read the thing from Dimples? Jenna <laughs> Elfman is a Scientologist. Oh yeah. Those freaking people. <laughs> Oops. And makeup, hair, standing by, good. Yeah, I, what are those like nun things? Like, are those real? <laughs> oh, yeah, this kid's like, it wasn't this kid on um, that show, um, Growing Pains with uh, Fritz Savage? I think he's famous. He's someone else. He's famous now, right? He was like, yeah, Wonder Years. Yeah, he was like a, a dick on that show, too. Who is he? Who is he? What is his name? Who is he now? I, f I forget. Even a kid can be courteous, Jerry. I'm going to quit. Please, I Marianne. swear it, I am going to quit. <laughs> and she's a nun. Okay, but I Not a real nun. <laughs> well, is everything straight? I like how he just like uh, snuck in just Oh my god. This kid's a, dir a jerk. Action! Action. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Goodbye, Rusty. And God. Yeah, that kid is, is like the typical textbook, um, whatchamacallit, sociopath. Yeah. No, Rusty. You sold a lot of magazine subscriptions to earn that bike. But I want to give, sister. Want that bike? I just received the two best parents a boy could ever hope for. Oh, Rusty, you are an inspiration to us all. I'll say. I'm going to start a paper route right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop that nun. Stop that nun. <sighs> it What the? This like right here is like my favorite part where they just go around Warner Brothers Studios and just wreck havoc everywhere. Yeah, it was probably just like whatever they had on set that day. They're like, oh, we'll just work that into the movie. Yeah, basically that's what it, what happened. We'll just film. You know, they're just filming it. Everyone just keep keep working. Mm -hmm. Is he trying to grab just the tassel? <laughs> wow. 
His got, his bike has everything. like like yeah, all the whistles and tricks and stuff. <laughs> I like how they're drifting in golf carts. <laughs> Why would that stop anyone? A smoke machine. <laughs> the smoke machine. Oh, that thing caught in made them crash. He got them all high up. I've been on the back, back lot before. And it's oh, yeah. hilarious because, like, it's a lot smaller than you would think. I would so, imagine. Like, most of these scenes are the same location. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing this trick. <laughs> where he gets like a painted wall. Wily e. Coyote. Yeah. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. So how much more of this movie? Uh, it's 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 almost, you know. Don't worry, oh, Jared. I don't really hate it. I'm it's just like my problem is I don't hate the movie, it's fine. I'm just tired and I feel like the podcast is bad. So I'm sorry, podcast listeners. <laughs> I'm trying. It's like I, I the visuals I'm seeing, I'm just like can't comprehend or make comments and then it's like then it's like, oh okay, that scene was over. I don't know what to say about it. Like, there's so much going on. He just ran into a fake set of a, of a beach, and a lifeguard jumped off like a ten foot high thing into fake sand. Like, now they're chasing him inside of a fake boat car. It's just and like, like surfboard. This is all so crazy. I can't keep up with it. I just can't. Like, what like, movie is this? All these, like, these are all these, like crappy shows. Yeah, it's Hollywood, and these are like the most amateur like looking movies I've ever seen. Like yeah, gingerbread Gumby. Yeah. Oh my gosh! This must have been fun to film, though. You have to admit. It must have been hard. It looks like a lot of work for this movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean that Rube Goldberg machine. This entire movie is a Rube Goldberg machine, like metaphor. Well, what's, the, what's the end result then? A, a movie, a finished <laughs> movie. I feel like they're like, we <laughs> set it all up, and they just let the nominos roll, and like, wow, that movie came out in a weird way. You shouldn't make a, R a Rube Goldberg machine where Why you Why are they filming Godzilla in, in Hollywood? That's not where Godzilla's <laughs> filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Did it Did really? all this for six million? That's, six a, million that's a good budget. budget. Well, this is six million in, in, in 1985 money too. Yeah, That's what exactly. it seems like. It seems like a lot to me, right? That sounds it like is. a crazy amount. Oh, look, it's, it's Twisted Sister. It is. I don't know what that is. It's like a popular oh. 80s band. If they're so popular, why yeah. are they considered an eight only only an 80s band? Because they're they probably of the time. So he had like an oil slick. Why did they really seem to do much? Gosh. Dead. <laughs> I don't. I don't get why they had to like evacuate the car to get out of the way. Is this Disneyland? It looks like Disneyland. Did you see that random cut it's of like, some the dirty cave water? People on break. Oh my gosh! So, no, this I is like, still the back lot. Yeah. I was reading like this, okay. is, this is where uh, um, it's Back to the Future. Was. Yeah, Back to the Future. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that before you said it. The crap! This bike so he just is, has like this bike probably is worth ten thousand dollars. Yeah. The amount of mechanics that are in this thing so bad. <laughs> it's worth more. I like how he was at the back lot. He jumped over. And now he's in houses. Like I don't think. Yeah. No. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, Warner Brothers Studio is like backed up against suburbs. <laughs> it flew that big. far. It has two zip codes. Wow. It's just another set, Jared. May, may oh maybe with fake it's actor kids. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we should have opened that door. What if there's a backdraft? I, he, I mean, he's pretty brave. Oh, he kills all. Like, what kind of pet store has like monkeys and like snakes? What and that, terrible that, stuff? That, but also, why is there? Why, why is the pet store on fire? Like, is this part of a thing? 
And it looks like the monkey knows how to open the cages. Is it a pink so dog? Can have opened his own cage? Tipple says, isn't the Back to the Future on the Universal Backlot? Yeah, this, this was, that was all that was on the Universal Backlot. Oh, because it was the Warner's brother Backlot. Oh. I think he went from the Warner's because they're right next, literally right next to each other. That's kind of cool. No, wasn't he at the Universal? Dog. Wasn't he at the Universal the whole time, or was it Warner Brothers? No, it was, it was Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers first. And then it, he went into the Universal Studios. Can they do that? Wouldn't it only this movie only be like produced at one of them? Hmm. Like they're like, hey, we were trying to make a joke here. Can we go to your back lot? I mean, does, does he really have to save fish because they're already in water? The water will boil, though. Yeah. I don't understand why this is happening, though. <laughs> He's just like, freeing everything. Well, he was escaping because he stole his bike back, but all of a sudden now, like, what is a side quest? I mean, he can't just leave his animals to burn. But how random is this? <laughs> also, this I fire still... is very tame and contained. It's not really spreading at all. I, I still don't get why someone would have a monkey at a pet store. I just love the tagline for this movie. Yeah, read us some taglines. You will believe a man can ride a bike. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe that. hard that. to believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb for a tagline. <laughs> this movie made $40 million in box. That's a Jeez. good budget. Is that Doc oh, Pink? Sorry. Is that Doc That's, Pink? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look That's at that what cat. I said. Look at that cat, wait, it's so wait, fat! Cat? It's on the bench, <laughs> it's on the bench. No, cut back to the cat. Aw. That was a pretty fat cat. Now we're watching the movies that he ruined. Like, son, you're really big trouble. Caused over $10,000 in damage. You're right. He did start out. He did start out Warner Bros. Studio. Oh, is oh this God, how this movie it? gets Wait. set? Is this movie like self-aware? About that. Yeah, it is. My boy, Pee-wee. <laughs> Jeez. I, forgot I feel like that'd be you, Jared. The fourth wall. If it was a cat, yeah. <laughs> well, they don't break that. Yeah. So this movie like start over at the beginning. It's like a recursive loop. Have you guys seen the movie Triangle? Mmm, sounds familiar. It's a time, time. <laughs> there we go. Current theaters are cool, but they're also crappy. But they're also cool. I like how they have like intermissions and stuff. Yeah, it's weird. They should, they should do that again. But it's like I went to one rather, relatively recent. These kids in their bikes, their bicycle suits. <laughs> They're always in their BMX suits. Yeah. yeah. See, that's funny. That's funny. This movie's weird, but there's some really funny things, and that's a funny, good thing. But it's so weird. What? They made. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so weird. Rich first, movie guy. First, a Hollywood. Oh my thing. gosh! This is so funny. I like so how the hobos have the, their own <laughs> section. <laughs> So like good. their fire and their pallets and this is so funny. It's I'm having such a roller coaster of emotion, so it's like I'm confused and I'm laughing. Why did he get the like the CEO of like Warner Brothers food? Like he no, could, it's like a hot dog. And, and he's like, thanks, babe. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized who that hobo was. Wait, who's the hobo? The hobo, like the, the one that was talking to him, is the sheriff from Airbud. <laughs> the movie with the dog. Uh, I like how Pee Wee is like some debonair like fancy guy. Like a Sean Connery type. James Brolin? Uh, uh, that was like the worst line ever. Like, I'm a little overheated myself. Isn't he from, uh... They know his dad? Oh my god, who is that? He's like, yeah, that's totally what I did. Oh, is this the movie? Yeah. Like his movie, Big Pee's Big Adventure, or whatever. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, so that's the actor is the father of the guy who plays Thanos. <laughs> One 
Action pack. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Do you ever know what he's in jail for? He gave oh, him like yeah, a file. He put a file inside of the the hot dog. He said he had a bad temper. Because uh, he uh, ripped off one of those mattress tags. Yeah, but what did he really go for? That was his lie. I think that was actually what he w went in for. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess I shouldn't question it in this movie. No, nothing right now, Mr. Herman. Wait, what? I think they redubbed his voice to be like more manly. Because he he's not playing himself. <laughs> Everyone's all like supportive and stuff. He's not even watching his own movie. He's delivering food, and the movie's like halfway done. Wait, is that Will Arnett, the Portlandia guy? No. No. Okay, I feel like that's weird. the bikers. Everyone's there. Oh, I, I I can view so many people right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because Fred Armisen is yeah, from Portlandia, yeah, I mean, and that's yeah. like that wasn't I mean, him, and it was like yeah. so confusing. <laughs> yeah, that <but> Fred. <laughs> that's the worst dubbed voice ever. But I think that's supposed to be like his voice in the movie. <laughs> it's dubbed to us, but not dubbed to them. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's it. What we're hearing is what they're hearing. Yeah, but yeah, but it's supposed to be his his voice in the movie. Like, like it's it it is dubbed, yes. But that is an like in in the in the fiction of this world, it's not dubbed. Hmm. It does sound like that though. I think the implication is he's acting like that. That is his acting voice that he's pulling off. Oh uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. But to us, it's obvious because it's like out of sync, but that's not part of the fiction. <laughs> uh, he's like handing it up so bad for the scene. The Sean Connery guy. What's her deal? Is she also a child? I'm not sure. She keeps making innuendos, but she also is <laughs> acting like a kid. Oh, the French guy was Phil Hartman. I forget who that was now. Why is he making a deal with his stupid neighbor? Oh, because he wants to sit on the bike for like a picture or something. But why would he let him to? He's he's going along with it. Why is he going along with it? Dead. <laughs> he right? murdered himself. <laughs> Pink dog. Look, it's that pink dog. Oh, the doggies. A rebel. That's like the best line ever. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> Why do you keep just saying it's that? Fun. It's, like, yeah, it's funny it's, because it's like, it's Pee Wee. That was fun. That was funnier. That was funnier. Jeez, what the? What is that? What is, are they Easy. riding across the screen in the sky? Like, like down in front. How did you get up there? You're floating in the air. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this because I'm dying. I'm like literally not gonna fall. I'm gonna pass out. Um, thank you guys for listening. We're buffer buddies. Please tell your friends. Please show up if you. Um, please come by. Let me finish doing what I'm eating. How's your guys's? How was your guys' viewing experience? 
Pee Wee Herman is a comedy genius. It is like oddly funny. This is oddly really funny. But it could be it could have been funnier. Please tell your friends, you guys, if you're interested in being on the podcast, please show up. We are kind of having a hard time getting people to like come to these. We actually had a postponed recording of this. So if you guys are interested in uh, this, uh, we usually need at least like three to four. I like to have a four minimum for this podcast. Although it's amazing. We pulled out like all so many people are listening in here tonight. Thank you all for coming by. And thank you for li- thank you for listening. But also, also, please tell your friends, please show up, all that junk. Um, check out UpDownThigh.com. For more information on like how to do all that stuff, as well as our Facebook fan page, I think is right now where we're posting which events are coming up next until I could get the Facebook API working back on our website where it shows like what we're like what movies that we're watching next. But if, if, if that ever breaks, always check Facebook. I try to keep that up to date as much as I can. Um, I'll, I'll update the events if we decide to record on a different day and all that stuff. Um, I think next week we're going to try to do um, Batman. Batman Ninja. I think that's what we're going to do next week. Uh, so that would be all that Wait, stuff. Ba- Batman Ninja? Batman and Ninja. It's an anime about Batman who's a ninja. Interesting. Yeah, oh, so this it, is like really new. Yeah, it's very new. So I think we, I think, um, yeah, I think that covers everything. Just, yeah, please spread the word. I know it's kind of a joke podcast and it's kind of funny, but um, we try and it takes up a good chunk of my time and I really appreciate it if you guys help us out with that and Show your friends and, you know, or show up even to the movie night. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, or maybe even check out one of our streams. We do VR. We just got back from VR LA. Um, and so that's one of the things we do on our stream. Our Twitch stream is mixed reality, virtual reality. Um, answer questions about that stuff as well as we try to do the comedy streams. And um, I do like a lot of Zelda Breath of the Wild and a lot of cool stuff. So subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow our YouTube channel. It'll be really helpful. If you want to support our stream or the podcast, subscribing as well helps that too. We also have a YouTube channel, a bunch of other stuff. Um, we're going we're gonna to segue into our ratings now. Uh, why don't you guys, why don't you start it off, uh, Harold? I give it a 10 out of 10 man childs. It's a good one. Um, Chris, Chris listening gives it 10 out of 10. Pee Wee Herman laughs. Um, Lucio. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot. I forgot Lucio you were here. Um, I mean, I knew you were here, but I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, wait. He's not here. Oh, he's not here, but he's watching. How funny. Um, Lucio oh, gives it 10 out of 10. Yeah, he's, but he's not listening to us, so that's weird. Um, right? He's not listening. I don't think he's listening. Lucio oh, gives it yeah. 10 out of 10 bikes. How did he know? Um, anyone else? <laughs> Um, 10 out of 10 biker gangs. <laughs> but there's um, only one gang, though. The Satan's Helpers. I have... I'm going to give it... So as funny as this movie was, in the... Oh, again, the ratings are in context of watching it as, like, a movie night with friends where you make fun of it. I actually didn't think it pulled it off very well. There's a lot of lulls. It had and some slow moments, yeah. It, I don't think it... I just don't think it worked at all. Like, I always think of, like, if I got up and came back, would I be confused? And, like, would it be, like, unwatchable? And I would kind of say, yeah. I uh, think it kind of... It was I hard. Do, I do think we're kind of tired, too. Now, but I'm saying like that's like, that's part to me. Me being tired is equivalent of you like hanging out with friends. I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna give it six out of ten. Um, uh, the robotic clowns. There you go. And I'm going to give it six out of ten. Horrible, or not horrible, horrifying claymation scenes. Oh, that's a good one. Tell them large Marge sent you. Large Marsh. Oh, large and Tachiyami gives it 10 out of 10 large butterfly knives. Oh, I missed that part, I guess. Oh, it was in the very, very beginning. Oh, butter knives. Oh, man. I, I oh, reading what, I'm reading what I want to read. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, I know what to, what to get you for uh, birthday now. I have two butterfly knives already. <laughs> Wow. You, do you have large butterfly no, knives? No, they're not, they're not like ridiculously large <laughs> at all. No. Um... Can you type yours out? Rest in peace, so I can copy paste it easier. What? How about uh, some people on silent? What, I just, are, what are your ratings? I read them all. I read them all. Oh, you did? Yeah, everyone gave their, their ratings. Dimples didn't. Dimples didn't, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Give it a run. It's fine. Like I said, if they don't, if they don't post them immediately, that they missed their mark. Um... <laughs> Cause they they have the gotcha. whole they have the whole recording to come up with ratings that they're not participating <laughs> in the talking. Yeah. Um, who said ten out of ten man child? 
Who said that? Oh, oh that you was did. Me. Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, again, next week. Um, Next week we'll be recording a podcast. Hopefully I'll be out. You know our normal Tuesdays and all that stuff. There was there might be an interruption. I'm going to be going to Japan uh, late in late May, so there might be an interruption in podcast. I'm going to try to get it so it's it doesn't. But um, uh, I don't know. We'll see. It's it's difficult to arrange this stuff sometimes. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. I'm Jared from Up Down Die. This is John Torsvelder. I'm Jesse Favalava. And I'm Rest Beast 420. And we also okay. had, an, oh, <laughs> we also had Aranya. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks for coming by, you guys. And thanks to Aranya, Chris, uh, painting all night, dimples, and I guess Lucio is here too or something. Um, thank you guys for listening. In, in spirit. Uh, in spirit. In spirit. He's doing paper. <laughs> Everyone, hope hope he does good in, in, on his paper. Goodbye. Good luck, Lucio. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.